you're watching 8 bit days a week now it doesn't really have a name there i'm pretty sure it's not just called programmable light mode um but yeah you've probably seen this in um amazon like uh, i think it's called binbok so i guess this makes it an official clone of an unofficial third party um, controller let's see if this would suit all my needs and there it is not much inside it comes with that like where you can attach to make it look like a uh, pro controller and looks good um, it's very light compared to let's say a official pro controller here uh, let's see it is bigger I couldn't fit them on the camera I do apologize but uh, yeah looking at it it's bigger the hmm, there seems to be more distance with, with the what do you call it the analog and the buttons let's see um, the, hmm, it doesn't feel right I'll admit that um, or at least I'm very used to the pro controller and uh, it may look very similar but it's not <laughs> when you press it you'll understand um, okay at the back of it there's these extra buttons I think you can program them to do whatever I mean whatever you want it to assign it with um, yeah I'll have to go through the manual I guess there is some uh, instruction on how to assign the button there but anyway uh, yeah there, there's not much on the box let's see how do I remove this or oh, you could just pull it out and um, okay yeah these are very light anyway I'm gonna try arms here since it's the one that I know that can do all styles of uh, play from having it on handheld oh yeah look it lights up paired that's nice all right now one thing they mentioned on the instructions is that we should never um, update this if there's an update for the controllers test buttons okay up down left right b a x y l r okay looks like they're all mapping correct okay yeah um they feel different but i think you'll get used to it it's not that bad actually and let's see control sticks okay looking good not bad not bad but yeah they they feel different i gotta say i like the textured feel of the the analogs here hopefully they don't have the drift it feels nothing like the original joy cons or even the pro controller oh it does vibrate but yeah i think i read uh, i i um saw this uh, comment the left the left one it's kind of it vibrates uh, noisier I'm sure you hear it can you hear it I, I'm not sure if it goes through the um, video recording there but yeah it's kind of noisier and uh, don't mind my gameplay here because um, I'm kind of distracted by the, <laughs> the vibrate 
All right, let's see. Custom my controls. Um, let's try. All right, here's an interesting one. Joy-Con sideways. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use this one, so this should be interesting because it, it has an actual D-pad. Oh, where is the, okay. So, of course this isn't a normal, but it works, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if, you, it, if it goes through the video, but um, this thing is loud <laughs> on the rumble. But at least it works. I'll probably end up uh, disabling the rumble there so it doesn't it's too, maybe it it's too distracting actually <laughs> all right all right let's give this a try all right they're both rumbling now but um, at least the motion controls work I'm just not really used to doing doing all these uh, motions <laughs> so I usually just stick to the regular control method but this is to show you that it, it's like so it's like the split pad pro but it has gyro one thing it doesn't have from what i read is that it doesn't have amiibo support but other than that anyway um i think it's great it's around the same price as the hori split pad pro though so um maybe it's not worth it to you to get a uh third party or unlicensed a clone actually so that's really up to you though um, everything else uh, seems to be fine um, there is one thing I want to try hmm okay um, all right, one thing about this D-pad is that you have to really, you have to press it down. <laughs> it, it's not like a, it, it works, but you have to, you have to press it. <laughs> you have to really press it to make it do what you want. Oh. Okay. Well, there's, okay, there's one thing, uh, another thing I noticed, the diagonals aren't as responsive. See there. Okay. All right. That's a negative against this thing. I think it's fine. I mean, if this thing doesn't do Joy-Con drift, then it's worth it for me already <laughs> that's a big thing and it has uh, gyro and stuff so i can probably play clubhouse games which is something i've been wanting to try in summary it feels okay it's kind of light especially if you just use it um like this with this thing and uh the vibrate thing well you can turn that off anyway this thing the vibrate here is a lot stronger noisier than this one for some reason and um, the d-pad um there's some problems with the diagonals but other than that it just takes getting used i think you'll need to get used to it for a while but it's it's okay it's not doesn't actually feel terrible you're watching eight bit days a week